Are you going out? No. He's not going out, Tessa. You'll have to wait. <laughs> He's not going out, Tessa. You'll have to wait. I should say she'll have to wait, you and your middle-aged fantasies. You could be right. <sighs> I did try drinking that beer, you know, that refreshes parts that the other beers can't reach. <laughs> what happened? My leg went numb. Isn't it? Well, if you're not going out, why are you all dressed up? Well, I'm expecting a fellow writer. Oh. That I met at the Authors Guild. I see. Coming around for some advice on how to become a great playwright. Well, why not? But I don't want you hanging around. Oh, no, I'll, I'll, I'm off now. You're off. Yes, I'll go. Good. I'll, uh, I'll go to the park, listen yeah. to the band. Yeah, do that. It's Gilbert and Sullivan. Oh. My good. favorites. Oh, that's very nice. Oh. How do you do that? <laughs> That'll be my fellow writer. Oh, well, I'm off anyway. Yes, okay. yeah. <laughs> Hello, Mr. White. Hello, it's nice to meet a fellow writer. <laughs> Are all the fellows like him? <laughs> Are all the fellows like him? Back for? I thought you went to the park to listen to Gilbert and Sullivan. Oh, I adore Gilbert and Sullivan. Do you? Oh, so I've yes. got all the records. So have I, tell you. <laughs> have you got the gondolier? No, I always walk like this. <laughs> Introduce me. Do I have to? Of course. Nestor, this is Eric. Eric, this Hello. is Nestor. Oh, nice, nice to meet you. you. <laughs> Do come and sit down, Nestor. <laughs> well, Mr. Wise, I'm thrilled to be here. I really am. <laughs> We met somewhere before. No, I don't think so. It's funny that I, I never forget a face, do I, Albert? <laughs> never forget a face. So, Nesta, you want to become a famous writer like what I am? More than anything in the world. <laughs> yes, yes. Have you brought anything I could uh, have a look at? There's no answer to that. <laughs> I'd much rather hear about your work. You're so very talented. That's true. I do adore clever men. What's your latest work about? Well, I'm breaking new ground. Mm. Got a job as a navvy. <laughs> you see, my latest work... Are you going? No. Oh. My latest work takes in the full literary spectrum of it. I mean, you... You mention it and I will write about it. How about a thriller? Good Lord, no. He's got to get up in the morning. <laughs> But I can have a lie-in. <laughs> Tell me, Nesta, what are you working on at... Shut up. <laughs> Tell me, Nesta, what are you working on at the moment? I'd much rather hear about your work. It isn't every day that a girl gets to meet the great Ernie Wise. <laughs> oh, that's true, I must <laughs> Take him out then. Get rid of it. I'll take him for a walk. He's walking. <laughs> I'll take him to the bedroom. Wait <laughs> right out, Tessa. Look after that. Tessa. Oh, don't worry. That's just one of his middle-aged fantasies. That's all. Don't worry about it. Now, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. My latest story. Are you going again? No, I'm oh. not. My latest story is about man's inner battle. You might say it's psychological search. For what? <laughs> Pardon? His psychological search. For what? For what? Oh, oh. <laughs> well, exactly. Yeah, for what? Yes. Sounds fascinating. He's sort of lost in a fearful vacuum. Yes, lost. <laughs> 
in a fearful vacuum. Oh, dearie me. And the whole thing culminates in a trauma of auto-suggestive self-destruction when he enters the void of uncertainty. Hell, fuck! <laughs> that is exactly what my latest book's about. It must be marvellous to have such a wonderful talent. Oh, it is, it is. I've, uh, I've written a couple of things, you know. Not on the same scale as Ernie, because we've only got the one set E. Yeah. <laughs> You've never written anything Shut in your life. life. What's your work about? Well, it's a little on the uh, permissive side. You know, permissive. <laughs> the title will give you some idea. What's it called? The Night of the Big Urge. <laughs> You can't put two words together. It's about a young girl. One night, she's in bed and slowly, very slowly, the bedroom window opens and a big, husky, gypsy lad climbs in. She looks at him with a look of terror. He says, nay, lass, do not worry. That's where I keep my ferret. <laughs> says, you never wrote that. Now, there's something about this young jib that fascinates her. It's, it's the frilly shirt and the velvet trousers. They're in the carrier bag under his arm. You're making this he up! He takes her in his arms and he says, it's tonight or never, and she says, why? And he says, because I'm going to press that in. And she says, you're not going to press that in, you leave that alone. This is all true. You are disgusting, you It's are. a gift. Not a gift. Why don't you go and make some coffee? I will, I'll go and make some. Are you sure we haven't met before? Quite sure. I never forget a face. Is that right, Cyril? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Nestor. He's, he's an idiot. <clears throat> Ernie, you've written some wonderful plays for television. 247. <laughs> <laughs> and I was wondering. Well, to be a good writer, it might not be a bad idea if I appeared in one of your plays. Well, I mean, it's... That way, I'd get a better insight as to how a truly gifted writer like you works. Yes, that's true. Yes. I was quite surprised when I met you the other day. Oh, really? Yes. You're so much younger than I expected. <laughs> Thirty-four? Thirty-five? And a few months. <laughs> and you have such a... such a firm, young body. <laughs> Sorry! It was the word body that did it. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Your friend, yes. Eric. Eric, yes. He looks much older than you are. Yes, he is much older than I am. <laughs> I should imagine you're quite strong. <laughs> Virile. Just a part in one of your plays. Mm. Look, why don't you come back to my place for dinner? A man like you needs nourishment. And you can have second helpings. I can't. I can't find the coffee anywhere. Oh, I'll make it. You very nearly did then. <laughs> right. Right? Right. Cards up, face up, on the table. I'm not with you. Hey, do me a favour, you. An up-and-coming writer. You're a gold digger, you are. You're trying to con Ernie so you can appear in one of his plays. Well, a girl's got to make a living. Oh, come on. If I hadn't come in there, you'd have got him in a compromising position. Not to mention the intensive care unit. <laughs> and the Guinness Book of Records. Ah, <laughs> oh, here we are. <laughs> Coffee's up. Oh, that's lovely. Nesta? <laughs> I've decided to write a special part for you in my latest play. That's wonderful news. 
It won't be a very, very big part, because, you see, what with the commercials and everything in between, it gets a bit fatty. <laughs> I'll be with you in a minute, Tessa! <laughs> That's what I said before she made a commercial. Nestor is a serious writer! She did a commercial. She wouldn't lower herself to appear in a commercial. Did you do a commercial or not? Be honest, did you do a commercial or not? Tell him! Well, <laughs> yes. See? <laughs> You've appeared in a commercial. Just the one. Honestly? Yes. Cross your heart. Yeah, that was the one. <laughs> Are they comfortable to wear? Because I'm going to get him one if they are. <laughs> he plays Quasimodo next week in the play. You appeared undressed. You appeared on television wearing one of those things. And you said you were a serious writer, and I believe you. <laughs> I'll tell you... I'll tell you something. You will never appear in an Ernie Wise play. Oh, really? Well, I wouldn't appear in an Ernie Wise play if you paid me a thousand pounds. I would. <laughs> I flame him, would earn For less. I've had enough of this. You're pompous and full of your own importance. I'll have you know that I'm a self-made man. It's nice of you to take the blame. <laughs> How terribly disappointing. That's the way the cookie crumbles. You're right. All women are like that, Ern. Mm. Bear that in mind. You know what you should do now? What? I'll tell you. You should go out mm. and have a long walk and try and forget about it all. I'll do Have it. a long walk. I'll have a long walk. You won't have to spend anything. It's half-day closing. <laughs> all right, I'm going. And don't talk to any women. Don't worry, I won't. Good lad. You can come out now, Tessa. He's gone. <laughs> hey, I didn't believe it, you know, did you?